Okay, we're going to look at finding area of an equilateral triangle today. Um, we have a formula that I'm going to show you how to use. I'm going to show you how it develops, and then I'm going to show you how to use it. We'll end up doing uh, the formula itself, and then probably do six examples of either using the formula or kind of modifying the formula to find a specific side length. All right, so um, usually when we find area of a triangle, we just do base times height divided by two. Okay. And you could try to do that for an equilateral triangle, but finding the height gets a little complicated. So I have an equilateral triangle drawn here. Okay, Remember, base and height of, an, of a triangle must meet at a right angle. So if this is our base, which would make sense, we cannot use this side over here for the height because they don't meet at a right angle down here. If you remember, equilateral triangles are also equiangular. Every angle is the same, so 180 divided by 3, this would be 60 degrees right here. Okay, now that's going to be important in just a second as well, that this is 60 degrees. So if we want to find the height, we need to come straight down the middle here. So let me draw that. Let me get my ruler and draw the height in here. Now I'm going to do this first time. I'm going to do it without any numbers in it. So that way it develops a formula that can be reused over and over and over again. And then we'll start to throw numbers in. Okay. Now usually in our formula, when we get to our formula, we're going to call each side length S. Okay, but... If I do it with an S here, it kind of looks like a 5, and some people get really confused. So I'm going to actually do this part with an X. You guys are used to having an X. So if this side is X, and this side is X, and this whole side here is X, not just this little piece, okay? then the question is, how in the world can I find this height? All right. So we already talked about this has to be 60 degrees. Okay. We draw this so that it's 90. Okay, which 90 plus 60 is 150, 180 minus 150 leaves me with 30 degrees, 30, 60, 90 triangles. We should remember that. So I'm going to put an H in here for height, but we're going to solve for H in terms of X. In other words, we're going to get H equals, and part of that H equals is going to have an X in it. So you remember your numbers are on a 30, 60, 90 triangle, hopefully. We have a 1 that goes across from the 30. We have a root 3 that goes across from the 60. We have a 2 that goes across from the 90. So we're going to use this x over 2 and this h in root 3 and set up a little proportion to solve for h. So let's do that down here. So x over 2 equals h over root 3. If we cross multiply, all right, we get x root 3 equals 2h. Remember, our goal is to get h by itself in this case. We want h in terms of x. So I'm going to divide by 2. That gives me h equals x root 3 over 2. Okay, So that's what h equals in terms of x. Now let's go back to our formula for area of a triangle that we've used in the past. And that's 1 half times base times height or base times height divided by 2. They mean the same thing. This one, it's a little easier to use the 1 half times base times height formula. So area of my triangle is going to equal 1 half. All right times my base, remember my base is x, this whole distance, so times x. I'm going to put that over 1 so that we have a bunch of fractions here. And then 1 half times base times my height. My height is x root 3 over 2. So x root 3 over 2. So that's my formula. So now I'm going to multiply straight across. 1 times x times x. x times x, remember, is not 2x, it is x squared. 1 doesn't really matter when we're multiplying, so I get x squared root 3 over 2 times 1 times 2 is 4, and that is our formula right there. x squared root 3 over 4, or we're actually going to use your write, write it with an S, and the S stands for side length, so let me write that one more time. Area of an equilateral triangle equals s squared root 3 over 4, s equals the side length. Okay, so that's what you need to know for the area formula for an equilateral triangle. s squared root 3 over 4, s is the side length. So now let's do an example. We're going to do two um, real quick examples, pretty easy ones, and we'll make it a little bit harder. All right, and then we'll kind of reverse the formula. Okay, so I want you to find the area of an equilateral triangle with a side length of, we'll go with six, okay? I'll, I'll give you a, a unit as well, so six centimeters, 
okay? I'm not even gonna draw this triangle. We're just gonna go straight to our formula, okay? So area equals S squared root three over four. Well, I know the S, it's six. So six squared root three over four. Six squared is 36. 36 root three over four. And then if I reduce 36 and four, they're both divisible by four, I get nine root three. I need a label for area, so centimeters squared. And that's it, that's how fast those are. They go really, really, really quick, okay? Let's do another one really fast, okay? Find the area of an equilateral triangle with a side length of nine inches. Okay, go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own real quick. Only difference at the end, you're not gonna be able to reduce this one. So don't worry about it and I don't want you going to decimals, okay? All right, pause, figure it out. It might take you 30 seconds. Come back, check your answer. All right, you should have paused it. I know some of you don't because you never follow instructions, sadly, all right? But um, you should have paused it. You should have found the area on your own and now you should be checking your work. So area equals S, S is nine squared root three over four. Nine squared is 81 root three over four. I cannot reduce this. I, if you put 20.25 root three on your paper, I'm going to mark it wrong. I don't want decimals. It, it's just more work. Uh, you tend to type things in wrong sometimes. And some of you still don't understand when to use a rounded off decimal and when not to, and you don't know when it's gonna be rounded off, so you just always put things into decimals. Don't go to a decimal for this answer. I'm going to mark it wrong if you do. All right, label it, we're done. That's it, that's how fast these are. Super, super fast. We make it a little bit harder now, okay? Find the area of an equilateral triangle. We're gonna do two like this one, by the way with a side length of, let's go with six root three. Um, we'll call it yards, okay? So the six root three is our S and we have to square that. That's where it gets a little bit harder. So first off, you have to write it correctly. If you do not write it correctly with parentheses, I'm going to mark it wrong because it's wrong. Area equals six root three squared. If you write it like this, it's wrong. Because right now, the squared only applies to the root three. We want to square the whole side, so we have to use parentheses, okay? Six root three squared, that's different than this root three from the formula. The root three and this root three are different. So now we, that's the S squared. So now we have the regular root three from the formula, all over four. This I taught you how to do in the past. I'm gonna come off to the side and I'm gonna do that over here. So six root three squared. We square the six, we square the root three. Some of you are getting pretty good at this. 36 times three and 36 times three is 108. Okay, so that section right there is just 108. So now we're gonna fill that in. So 108 root three. This root three is from here. Okay, we already took care of this root three with our work over here. Okay, so 30, 108 root three over four. We reduce that, 108 over four reduces to 27, root three, label, yards squared. Okay, we're gonna do another one like that real quick. And then I'm gonna kind of reverse it. I'm gonna give you the area and ask you to find the side length. We're gonna do two examples of that, we're gonna be done. All right, so one more with the kind of root concept in it. All right, I want you to find the area of an equilateral triangle with a side length of, oh, what should we do? How about three root seven, and we'll go with meters, okay? Pause, try to figure it out on your own. Uh, it shouldn't take you real long. Um, get an answer, make sure you got a label on it, come back, check your work, all right? Pause, go ahead and do that, and come back in a little bit. All right, you should have paused. You should have done it on your own. Once again, I know some of you don't because you just don't like following instructions for whatever reason. You get lazy. So, uh, it shows in your work when you do that. Area equals, if you don't use parentheses, it's wrong. Side squared, root three over four. We have to do this part first. All right, come off to the side and do that. Three root seven. If I don't use parentheses over here, it's wrong. Three squared, root seven squared. 
9 times 7 is 63. So come back over here. I'm going to fill my 63 in. Okay, if you didn't see that, if I moved it too soon, 63. Fill back in the 63. Root 3 over 4. Can I reduce 63 and 4? No. If you go to a decimal, I'm going to mark it wrong. Meters squared. Okay, got two questions left and we're done. This time I'm going to give you the area. The area of an equilateral triangle is, oh, let's kind of start with an easy one, 25 root 3 inches squared. Okay, area of an equilateral triangle is 25 root 3 inches squared. I want you to find the side length. Find side length. Do not guess your way to the answer. All right, this one, yeah, if you eventually tried enough numbers, you could guess your way to the answer. Some of you would do it a little bit faster. Some of you would guess 5 right away because 5 squared is 25. You'd be wrong. All right? But on the next one, you will not be able to guess your way to the answer. Okay? So we set up our formula, S squared root 3 over 4. If you want to put an X here because your S and 5 look very similar, put an X there instead. Okay? Equals 25 root 3. Now, you can tell, hopefully right away, why 5 isn't going to be the right answer, because 5 squared over 4 isn't going to be the 25. I'm going to put this over 1. We're going to cross multiply. We've done this a lot. Anytime we have a fraction equals a fraction, we can cross multiply. S squared root 3 times 1 doesn't change anything. It's still just S squared root 3. 25 times 4 is 100 root 3. We don't multiply by the 4 by the 3. Uh, that 4 is not under a root. The 3 is, so we just multiply like that. Some of you, like now... Uh, I've seen this in your work in the past and stuff like this. You like to take a square root right now. That's wrong. We got to get rid of the root 3 first. So we divide by root 3. It cancels on both sides. It's kind of a nice thing. It makes this really easy. All right. And then S squared equals 100. Show your square root on both sides, please. S equals 10. Label. If my area was inches squared, then my side is inches, not squared. Side lengths don't get a squared on them, and that is my answer. Okay. Now, these get a lot harder if we don't have a root 3 right here. Because then the root 3 doesn't cancel out. We would divide by the root 3, and we'd have like 100 over root 3, and we take the square root of something that has a root in it. It gets really complicated. I am not going to do one of those in this video. All right. Uh, we may end up doing one of those in class at some point. I'm not sure. I'm going to do one more example like this, make it a little bit harder, and then we'll be done. Okay, so I want you to find the side length. Okay. Area of an equilateral triangle. Equilateral, if I can spell it, helps. Is, um, how about we go with, I don't know, like 60 root 3 centimeters squared. Okay. Find the side length. Find S. All right. So we're going to set it up again. Okay. So S squared root 3 over 4 equals 60 root 3, which we can always put over 1. Now, if you think you know what you're doing, please pause. Try it on your own. I'd prefer that everyone do that. All right. But I know some of you won't. All right. So um, I'll give you a second to do it. All right, so if you paused it, solved it on your own, great. If not, pay attention. You're going to see one like this in your homework. All right, so we're going to cross multiply. S squared root 3 times 1 is just S squared root 3. 60 times 4 is 240 root 3. We cannot take the square root right now. We need to get rid of the root 3 first. We divide both sides by root 3. We divide over here by root 3. We get S squared equals 240. We're going to take a square root of both sides. If you give me a decimal answer right here, I'm going to mark it wrong. I don't even have a calculator nearby. Um, I don't know. It's like 15.4 or something like that. But if you give me that decimal answer, all right, I'm going to mark it wrong. We've done stuff like this all year. Some of you still want to give me decimals on this. I don't know why. Break it down. Look for pairs. So obviously 24 times 10 is pretty simple. All right, you might do some other numbers. It's fine. Um, a 4 times a 6, a 2 times a 5, 4 is 2 and 2. Every now and then get people want to do 6 is 3 and 3. It's not. Remember, it's 2 and 3. Okay. So we're going to write all these numbers out. I'm going to write them in order. So 2, 2, 2, another 2, a 3, and a 5. Pairs. 
pairs go outside, singles stay inside. We don't take both of these twos out. We take a single two out. So I have a two and another two outside. We multiply them together. If you want to add them together, you're wrong. In this case, it'd be the same thing, but most of the time it would be wrong. Two times two is four on the outside. Three times five goes back to 15 on the inside. Label, centimeters squared for area, so just centimeters for my side length. And that is it for this video. Area of an equilateral triangle, S squared root three over four, you gotta be able to put the S in. If it's just a simple number, great. If it's got a root in it, you still know how to do it. If I give you the area, you need to be able to solve for S. All right, that's it for this lesson.